Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Eden Zero, Chapter 153. Uh, when we last left our heroes, um, we checked in a little bit with Homura and Creed, uh, as Creed kind of wants an alliance with Homura as they're both trying to stop Shora, but Homura is not quite comfortable allying with the enemy of Elsie. Um, it's all sort of working in this sort of web of, of alliances that Mashima's kind of been crafting this whole time. We then check in on the bots, who have been freed of their hypnosis, uh, and Moscow starts flipping through channels and finds the lost card game. Uh, the Rebecca's not doing too hot on. Uh, she quickly loses the first two rounds, loses her, um, her, like, arm covers and her stockings. Uh, Lyra throws a couple of rounds. Uh, Rebecca loses the next round, losing her headband and now being left in her leotard. Um, and she tries to reverse time to cheat and, you know, win. But despite the fact that she memorized where the card placement was, she still loses that round, losing the headband again, uh, and being put in a really dire situation. Uh, and Lyra is now openly threatening her legs, tying in with the flash forward. So yeah, um, it, last chapter was more than a little bit horny, but there's some good shit in there. Uh, Lyra also revealed she's only lost the game once before uh, to Poseidon Nero himself, who took her left eye. So anyway, uh, we open pretty much where we left off, uh, with Rebecca just in her leotard, clearly uncomfortable. We see her, like, you know, covering her, her boobs there. Uh, Lyra is, you know, pretty confident uh, that she's won, and also confident in her, in her risqueness. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a well, well-colored color page. I also like the, you know, the color really makes the fish uh, swim, swimming in the background pop out a, a bit more. Anyway, back to the actual plot. I turned back time. <clears throat> I turned back time. I switched the cards. I knew the answer, but I still lost. How is this happening? Chapter one hundred and fifty-three: The False Five, uh, which is perhaps tied into how um, Lyra is cheating. Anyway, we have this really cute, like, color double page spread of uh, the whole, all the good guys in like chibi form to the crew of Edens as well as Elsie. Uh, and Laguna, who I guess classifies as a good guy. And Plu, who's just kind of there for some reason. Um, but they're all kind of walking, uh, walking forward. Uh, it's a really, it's a really cute picture. But either way, um, things are going bad for Rebecca. Uh, and Lyra kind of taunts, well, will the next round be the last one before you bear it all? Uh, and Rebecca's, you know, uncomfortable, to say the least. But she looks down. Something is definitely up. Before I used reverse, I made sure I knew where her five was. But after reverse, there was a one where the five should be. How? On the other hand, I knew which card she picked, so I made sure my one was in that spot. But she still pulled the five. Hold on. And she looks at, at uh, Lyra's board. I'm sure she picked the card from the same spot both before and after I reversed. But the numbers were different. She's not yet, though, worked out that bit about even after she turned back time, the round numbers were still the same. Um, either way, she's worked out what's going on here. She's cheating. She's done something to change the numbers. Which, yeah, I mean, yeah, we kind of figured. Um, though, if So I kind of figured that perhaps her, her ability was that she could... No, that would make, I was about to say my thought might have been that her ability was to change the na the number on the cards, uh, or to, or not no 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 that her ability was to see the cards, but that wouldn't help Rebecca only get ones, um, and so her ability is is the obvious answer is that she's just changing the cards, uh, in order to to eke out a win. That's her her ether gear, uh, and she, Rebecca keeps thinking maybe that's her ether gear power. If it is, then does, doesn't matter how many times I go back. I don't have any chance of beating her. Not that it matters. I can only use reverse one more time anyway. And the MC announces, round seven, plays your cards. So we see there, though, it's still continuing. It's counting that time rewound um, number from last, from last week. But Rebecca's starting to panic more and more. There's no way to beat her. Turn the table. I can't possibly win. Uh, and Lyra says, what the? You're copying my placement from the first round? That's an interesting line for her to drop. That she can kind of see Rebecca's cards already. Oh, oh, we see that she's doing the, the stack thing. Never mind, I kind of missed that bit. 
Show your cards. And we're seeing Rebecca's like panicking as she picks a card. One. And Lyra teases, me hee hee. Five. Lyra wins. And that's that. Your leotard is lost. And we see Rebecca is now nude, except for the bomb call- collar. No, don't. And all of the men cheer. What am I supposed to do? Uh, and Lyra teases, uh-oh, she's gone full frontal in front of this huge crowd of people. And Rebecca in a panic. We see that she's like curled up into a ball. It's admittedly very reminiscent of the first time she used, or the first time we saw her use the cat part of Cat Leaper. Uh, the first time we saw her change timelines. You know, when she was like in the shower crying after Shiki's death. Maybe she's going to accidentally hop timelines. Possibly. Could just be. Could not. But maybe. Uh, either way, she activates reverse. And she goes back and everything seems to be the same. Um, she's in her leotard again. Um, I'm sure the fish is going to call round eight. Uh, and we flash back to... Uh, or not flash back. We come back around to uh, Lyra's line. Well, will the next round be the last one before you bear it all? And we see, much like the first time Rebecca used up all of her reverses, the crack has formed on her cheek. Um, and she collapses to the ground, out of ether, shocking Lyra. The crowd all kind of murmurs to themselves. Uh, and she just curls up on the floor, breathing heavy. Lyra comes over and teases, Aw, oh, what's wrong? So scared you can't stand it? Sorry, but I'm not going to let you quit. You're not getting out of this. Until we have a winner. Uh, And Rebecca, kind of covering up the crack, thinks, that was my last reverse. And the MC, interestingly enough, calls this round seven again. Round seven, place your cards. Um, Which, like, like it'd be one thing if last chapter was just kind of a bit of a continuity error. That the fish kind of continued on with round six even though round five had technically not happened. But the fact that he said round seven in this week's chapter, implying that at the beginning of the chapter, erased round still counted, but now this erased round doesn't count? Maybe that's intentional. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Either way, Lyra's kind of taunts, hmm. And Rebecca kind of shakily gets back up, and Lyra presses, well, put your cards down. And Rebecca... Goes on the offensive. You're cheating, aren't you? Excuse me? Uh, And the crowd all murmurs. And Rebecca just shouts, You're cheating! This game shouldn't count! You rigged it so there was no way for me to win! Uh, And Lyra kind of announces to the crowd, Did everybody hear that? Uh, and And the whole audience laughs at the idea. And Lyra teases, We do get players making those accusations every once in a while. Do you have any proof? Um... And Rebecca think, just kind of, she can't really say how she knows. Uh, well, just put your cards on the table, or you'll lose by default. Um, and Rebecca sort of gets a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, uh, and Lyra laughs. And we see she does some kind of hand trick with her cards there. Uh, we get turn the table, and we see it's the same, the same arrangement of, of last round. Uh, and Lyra taunts, what the? You're copying my placement from the first round. Uh, and then uh, we, we see now in Lyra's headspace. She's trying to get me to pick this card. So I focus on the one outside card. Or not. Uh, and the, the, the MC announces, show your cards. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I can just use my ether gear. And she picks up the one. And she changes it to a five. To change the card's number. In other words, she can repeat this hundreds of times. And I'll always win. Hee hee hee. Five. Hold on. Does she realize what Rebecca's doing? Because she has that she can repeat this hundreds of times, which means she must realize what Rebecca is doing. How does she know? How can she tell the time is being rewound? Uh, I don't know at all. Um, and Rebecca just sort of stands there. What's the holdup? Show us your card already. And Rebecca just tells her, I don't need to. I know it's going to be a one. And Lyra thinks, with my power, yes. Uh, But says out loud, but if you don't show us your card, we won't know the winner. And Rebecca kind of steps forward. I was right. You are cheating. None of this should count. That old chestnut again. Uh, And 
Oh, I see what she did. Rebecca says, you have a five in your hand, but it can't possibly be there. And she pulls a card out from between her breasts. Because I never put a five on the table. See? Oh, that's a smart play. That is a, that's the be- that's the only way she could prove it. That's some good shit there. Stunning Lyra. The crowd all kind of murmurs. Uh, the MC announces, the number is black. That is definitely Lyra's card. But how can there be two fives? You picked a five that didn't even exist. How can you do that without cheating? Uh, and Lyra looks down, but, but how could you do that? There are five cards here. And we see she cut one of the cards in half and placed two of them at the bottom of the stack. Uh, and she looked, this card is torn. You made four cards look like five? And she flashes back to earlier when Rebecca kind of collapsed. But when? Is that when you... But how do you know I picked this card? And Rebecca thinks, I use the power of reverse. Though, that being said, um, Lyra seemed to realize that, whether she can repeat this hundreds of times. Though perhaps that is, in the end, just kind of um, a figure of speech. Uh, You know, a kind of, no matter how often she tries, she'll never win. That just happens to be very in line with what Rebecca is actually doing. Uh, But more by sheer coincidence than anything else. Either way, a delightful gambit from Rebecca. Uh, and she slams down her five. Here's my proof. You're using an ether gear to change the numbers. You dirty, rotten cheater. Uh, and Lyra kind of starts to panic. Ugh, ugh. You know, she's been caught. She has absolutely no way to, to get out of this. That's low. Play fair and square. And one guy, who cares? Just take it off. Uh, and the crowd all kind of boos Lyra. And she's getting more and more uncomfortable here. And she throws her cards in the air. Everyone shut up. Uh, she throws them at Rebecca, I think, who dodges out of the way. This card game is over. Now it's time for the slaughter show. And the crowd no longer cares about Lyra's cheating. They just want to see someone die, I guess. Uh, and Lyra steps towards Rebecca, and this explosion happens in front of Rebecca. And it's Shiki and Callum, who have once again inter- interrupted this fight. Uh, they've apparently been fighting underground. Shiki has dragged Callum through the floor. Uh, the two of them square off. Rebecca calls Shiki and Lyra as well. Callum. Uh, And Shiki lands in front of of Rebecca. Rebecca, you don't need to do anything she says. We're out of here. We're going to go save Witch. Right. Uh, And the two of them go to leave. But uh, Lyra throws some more cards at them. Oh, no, you don't. And they're kind of caught up in a whirlwind. Oh, it's one one of the Rutherfords. I was kind of predicting it might be a... The Callum might be an ex Laguna gang fight, an ex ex Dragon gang fight, um, and I might be right. Uh, whether this is is uh, Jean or Clean is not quite clear. Either way, one of them's here. Shocking Lyra. Callum is like wind, and yep, there's Jean. Go on, Shiki. It's both of them. We'll take care of things here. Uh, and Clean agrees. The situation. Let us handle it. Rebecca calls Jean. Clean. Um, but Chris, not Chris, Shiki turns to Jean, but the ship shall be fine. We took out most of the drones. Uh, Shiki tells him, thanks, and then grabs onto Rebecca's arm. Come on, Rebecca. Ah! And the two of them fly off to go save Witch. Lyra kind of growls up up at the the hole in the ceiling. And Callum stares down his two opponents as the chapter ends. Okay, this was a fun chapter. Um, you know, my, my complaints from last chapter are still kind of on the table. You know, the whole concept is just really uncomfortably horny. Um, it's largely, like, not super disrespectful, I'll say. Uh, like, we got one shot that's, like, specifically angled to kind of emphasize Rebecca's breasts in front of her face, in front of her head at the bottom of page three. But there's only, like, a single panel or so of naked Rebecca where we can see anything, be- like, we have the one where she first loses her clothes that you can see a lot. And then we can just basically see from, like, here up. I hope this part of my, my ch- yeah, here up. Um, and then, you know, the shots of her legs. Uh, all in all, like, it, it could have been a lot worse. It's not, it's still, you know, it's still Rebecca in the nude, so she can be leered at by a crowd. But it could have been a lot worse. And once we, we finish that, and Rebecca's gambit kind of takes off, um... 
the chapter really becomes a lot of fun. I love the moment where Rebecca is just like, I've completely played you and you did not see it coming. Um, it's a great moment. Her, her unveiling of the five. Um, it's, it's good. Like that's, that's, that's our thumbnail right there. Uh, no, no doubt about it. Uh, this was just like an all time great Rebecca face. The pure like confidence, the pure, you know, assertion of her own success. It's a great, it's a great face for her. Um, and admittedly, that's, Lyra's just like, fuck it, no more, no more card show, I'm just gonna kill you now. And we don't quite see how she'd accomplish that. Uh, because that is interrupted by Shiki and Callum, and then that is interrupted by the arrival of the Rutherfords to go deal with these two, uh, while Shiki and Rebecca go fight Shora. I'm still kind of holding out hope it turns out to be everyone versus Shora, and not just Rebecca versus, Rebecca and Shiki. Uh, largely again because I just got just got through with the uh, the door you fight in Raid Master, which is kind of the same thing. Um, but all in all, really fun chapter. Uh, I love I love the strategy Rebecca pulls. It's a really fun moment. And now we're gonna get our Rutherfords, you know, fighting Lyra and Callum, uh, which which looks to be fun. Um, it's a little bit unclear. I, I think next chapter is gonna focus on that rather than Shiki and Rebecca, but it could also focus on Shiki and Rebecca. Could also focus on Homer and Creed and whatever they're up to. They're technically headed towards All Link as well. Maybe um, again, their situation is a little bit a little bit uh, funky right now. Either way, all in all, really fun chapter. I love the gambit um, Rebecca pulls, and I can't wait to see what happens next. So I'm gonna leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe. You know, do what whatever makes it happy. You know, and as always, people. Uh, your life is your own, okay? Bye!